Welcome to I Love Stocks, and there's a few stocks I want to go over on my EV car watch list. But let's first wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Please be safe. Be with COVID, some of us are going to have to quarantine ourselves. Some of us are not. You know, if you do, kind of be careful. And hopefully, 2021 will be a better year for sure. Let's go ahead and start talking about a little bit that's on the watch list. All right, on top of the watch list, you know what I'm going to talk about right off the bat, Tesla. So let's go ahead and get her out of the way. She's breaking out here after hours. We are hit a 569.40 high. Got a pullback support right here at this first one here. It, it's a new one that I'm going to be adding, and I'm going to put it right there at 564.39. I did kind of want to see 584, somewhere around 584 for the next resistance. You need to start, if you're in long, you need to maybe start positioning yourself a little bit better, pulling something out. But for right now, I think she can go ahead and run up to 584. Now, I've got each kind of three support levels here that I'm looking at. That first one at 564.39, 559.98, and 553.69. Now, yesterday, I played this knife. And see how it knifed right there and I jumped right in the trade right here and I was having some internet issues but I did get into the trade and let's see if I got it I think it was a, like a fast one here I got in and bought it a couple times one at 435 actually I think I bought it another one at 495 and then I started having and it started dipping I got another one at 435. This is the November 27 strike at 560. Then I end up selling them at 534 on a pop. Well, I mean, it wasn't very much later, five minutes later. And then the sucker just kept running 580 at one time. So these 560s are going to look pretty nice today. These right in here. Right now they're sitting right around 1012. So I'm going to be doing them. And I might be looking at these 600s down here. Looking forward to maybe taking both them trades. But I want to try to get in on the pullback. I'm not going to chase it. There is going to be a little selling going on. I mean, we're at that point now where people are going to start taking profit. I had a 560 target on it yesterday. I mean, we were within two cents of hitting that target at 560. Miss Vegas had a nice little target on it too. She's watching this trade. But it was a beautiful trade getting in on the knife. So if it does the same thing today, we could see this previous high right down here, right around the 560 level. And then right down here at 553, if it does knife down there, it can bounce back up to around 564. It'd be about a $9 bounce. But from here on out, I'm going to be scalping it. That's for sure. And that's Tesla. Jimmy's liking it. So keep that on your watch list. Let's go through a couple little more here that I have on here. We have NKLA. She had a good day yesterday. I'm going to set this right down here for now. Where I can see these support numbers too. There we go. Right, we'll just take it off because I might see something I want to do. Yep, yeah, right down here, right around the 3057 area. It's going to be your second support. And then that first one, I'm going to try to get this on the five day. Right down right about in here for the third one 29.68 that's what I got to see hold and it's going to be on NKLA so we got three supports low one right down here as I said right a little under $30 then we got 30.57 and then we got 30.50 31.50 and that's on NKLA the next one we have on the EV watch list is solo it has pulled back to my support level that I called out so right around this 818 area, we did pull back to that area, and it looks to me like we have a descending pattern, but with higher lows. So this thing could break back up to resistance level of right around 964. Strong buy right around seven bucks. And this is right around the pivot point. We want to keep it going sideways. Resistance 964, and that's so low. The next one is plug. Plug had a nice little pullback yesterday, had a higher low. Now she's kind of created a little flag and broke out this morning. I think we're going to go sideways on this one too, and she can go to the right. 
so we got a low support at 25.51 I'm going to raise that bar up to right around the 25.84 area and we'll raise that support right up here to that second 26 bucks right around 2608 to where I got set for buy on plug let's look at another one we could break resistance level right up here right around the 2796 TANH is another good one we called the other day she fell back and kind of found an equilibrium here at support level did pull back to my 184 that I called in the previous video that I did if you'd like to go back and watch it nice little scalp off the two little support levels that I was talking about and every time it pulled back that support level or resistance level was time to exit I think we can still do the thing I got a low support at 155 for strong buy long and that's on TANH and there's a couple other on here on the watch list let me see on the EV department FUV should be on here what happened to that there it is FUV FUV nice little run 20 bucks now we've pulled back about six bucks here about almost 550 I think we're found an equilibrium if we can pull sideways you might get a bounce back up to this resistance level of right around the 15 I'd say 1564 spot FUV pull back support no lower than $12 and let me see if I got any more on here that I want to look at. WWR, NKLA, you talked about that one. Tesla. Blink. Where are you? Well, I think that's about it. Let's look at Blink here. Blink's kind of pulled back. It had that Centron thing. I'm looking right around the 2422 area for a buy. I think that's a real strong little area. If, if it does pull back to right around that 2422, maybe first entry, you know, just under, yeah, around 20, 2450 maybe, somewhere in there. And that's BLNK and run it back up to these resistance level of right around 27 mark. 2694 let's look at the airlines Boeing 217 keep a good eye on this one we had an opportunity to buy this at a cheaper support let me show you Boeing chart here I'll put it on the 20 day I'm kind of yelling out in the room I said you know down this $200 area and we've had a nice little bounce up since. So she's going to pull back, find an equilibrium. That support level, I'm thinking right around the 207.28. That's where we had this previous highs. So Boeing, we jot down 207.28 for an entry level. And you can start scalp, and we'll start flagging on out. And then we'll start breaking out. And eventually we'll get back up here to the 230. But for here on out, we're just kind of scalping it waiting for a support level and then jumping in it and hitting a targeted exit idea and the spy it's pulled back a little bit here pre-market i think it can hold gently in this area right in here no lower than 262 what is that 262.32 with a solid buy right down here right around the 360 area that 362.32 area i like to see hold then you've got another little channel right in here and then a flag right here for sure down at 360. And that's the spy. Well, that's it for the market report. I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, that's for sure. And also, I'm going to be starting me a little challenge again. I did pretty good on this year's challenge. And then I'm gonna, next year, my next year's challenge is by the middle of the year is to be able to make $1,000 a day trading options. So always remember, we love stocks.